Hello, this is Chen from Dr. Yanghua Huang's lab. Um, today I'd like to introduce our recent work on robust cell transition estimation based on ionic velocity. So talking about ionic velocity, this stream map of cellular transitions might be the most frequently used tool in downstream analysis of cell relations. The figure is actually showing the uh, transition directions of cells from which we could estimate the potential fate of different cell types. So robustly and correctly estimating the transition directions is of great importance for downstream data analysis. So this is the motivation of conducting this research. Um, given the existing methods, we found that in practice, there are many cases where the estimation results are either noisy or totally reversed from ground truth. The reason might be that the representation vectors involved in computation are all high dimensional. They contain noises that may affect the estimation of velocity vector and consequently the transition measurement. So to mitigate this issue, we would like to lower the dimensionality of the representations and filter the noises. There are generally two lines of methods and we've seen prior studies um, exploring feature selection methods in both unsupervised and supervised manners. So in this study, we are motivated to explore dimensionality reduction methods. To do so, we propose a framework called ELOAE that is derived from the standard autoencoder framework. The derivations are two modules. The first called cohort ag aggregation, which is designed to encode the cellular neighborhood information into the latent uh, representations. And the second one called attentive combination is designed to capture the gene profile structures in the low dimensional representations. So we hope the in the low dimensional space, uh, the representations could be more informative and capture the structure of the original data set. To evaluate our framework, we fit it on three different data sets with partially known or fully known transition directions. And the resu results show that uh, in the low dimensional space, our method managed to filter the noises and recover the expected directions as is shown in the quoted areas. Um, furthermore, to understand uh, what information is encoded in the latent dimensions, we first plot um, the velocity of each dimension with respect to the expected displacement of uh, spliced reads. So a quick interpretation of the scatter plots is that the points located in the first and the third quadrants have their velocity direction consistent with uh, the ground truth, while those in the other quadrants have their velocity directions totally reversed. So from these four figures, we can uh, observe that in the low dimensional space, more points are located in the first and third quadrants compared with those seemingly arbitrarily distributed points in the higher dimensional space. So that might be the reason why in the low dimensional space, um, the, arrow, the arrows are more coherent in the quote area. Secondly, uh, by using the reported driver genes from the SCEU data set, we managed to observe the 
attentions uh, with respect to the uh, driver genes. The figure on the left side show that the driver genes of branch two assign the greatest attention to latent dimension number nine and number 85, while those Java genes of the uh, first branch assigns greatest attention to latent dimension 17. And the figure on the right side shows that uh, the latent dimension 85 and 19 are enriched on the later stages of branch two and branch one, respectively. So all these information are showing, uh, is showing that the latent dimensions indeed capture some uh, structure information of the gene profiles. Finally, we conduct uh, experiments to compare our method with baselines and did ablation study to explore the contributions of the two, mac, two, two modules. Um, to quantify the performance, we propose two measurements. The first uh, called the ICVCOH measures the uh, coherence of the vectors within a group of cells and the CBDIR metrics measures the correctness of the velocities based on the ground truth. So from the table, uh, we can see that VLO AE is among the best performing methods. And the ablation, ablation study shows that the cohort aggregation module is primarily contributing to the robustness of VLO AE. Um, as you may find that except for the two configurations with cohort aggregation, all the other methods have um, negative correctness scores on one of the data sets, which means that their estimation results are totally reversed from ground truth. On the other hand, the attentive combination module is primarily contributing to the high scores of below AE as you may find that the ablation with only the attentive combination module achieves um, top scores in most uh, uh, cases. So um, both of the two mechanisms contribute to VLO AE in different uh, ways. To wrap up, uh, our initial findings shows that below AE can learn good representations for more robust cellu cellular transition estimation. And the latent dimensions indeed capture some structure of the original data set. And the proposed two modules uh, contribute to the good performance of below AE in different aspects. And um, we have proposed uh, the work on BioArchive and opened, open source our code on GitHub so interested audiences could find more details about our work on these two platforms. So this is the end of my presentation and I welcome any comments or questions from the audiences. Thank you.